Now what am I gonna do? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is sponsored by Munbin, so we're gonna hear a little bit about that first, and then we'll get cracking straight into the video. So let's get into the box. Hello to you two. Nice little information pamphlet. I have a quick browse on that. Power adapter, always handy. Nice little three pin plug. Gonna need that to turn it on. Packet here containing a card reader and an adapter for different types of computers. Onto the star of the show, the printer itself. Oh, another lead. Back to the printer. Printer's looking nice and clean, compact, sleek. And that is me being honest, not a biased review. Genuinely like the way this looks and feels. Yeah, nice printer. We're not gonna get very far if we don't plug it in. So we'll stick this into the back standard procedure really. Bearing in mind, I haven't looked at any of the instructions on this at all whatsoever. I'm just going by feel. We've plugged it in and I'm wondering why it's not coming on. Like there's power to the supply. You can see the green light on the brick, but then my brain does kick in and realize you've got to turn it on at the back. Donkey. So we'll feed through the test slip that they've done for us and just get that out of the way. And then it's onto the label roll holder. Again, I didn't look at any instructions, had a quick glance at the picture and then just went from there, just put it together. Most of this stuff is quite self-explanatory. I mean, it's like three or four pieces. You can't go too wrong with that. Pop the top bit in, which is obviously the roll to hold the rolls that are on the roll. And then you obviously you've got the square bottom bit there for the square rolls, the square labels. Pop the back on. It's four pieces, nice and easy. And we've got the square labels BPA and BPS free, which is handy because somebody recently told me that they are bad for your hands. We'll slap them straight into the holder. Pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Make sure they're the right way around, of course. Then all we're gonna do is feed them into the printer, obviously making sure that the labels are actually over the rollers, otherwise the printer just can't feed them through. So we'll make sure they're aligned and then just close it down and it will auto feed. <laughs> Pretty standard stuff really, so let's move on to a test run. Quick little look at the settings here just to make sure that everything's good, everything is laid out perfectly for you to read. You need to go into the Munbin app, allow that, find your printer which is the P941AP on this occasion, click that and click OK and it'll bring you straight into the app. Here I just thought I'd have a look for some pre-made 6x4s just to have a quick little play with and edit around and then make a first print using one of those, so I chose this one. Nice and clean, you can move things around, add things where you want to put them. You can add your own stuff as well. Thought I'd have a play around with the text here. Obviously we'll change the running to reselling. So then we're gonna get into the print. So you're gonna find your printer, select that, and then your printer is going to come up, click that, and then you're going to want to allow this setting just here and then move into resetting the network. This is just adding your Wi-Fi name and password so they can both be connected at the same time. Et voila, we are connected and then we're just going to print it and see how this comes out. Hopefully, hopefully it looks good. I'd say that's pretty decent. The same thing with the Mac, add your settings, add your passwords, click print and then we should have a nice little label ready for us. They also do different types of labels, of course. We've got the six by fours and these circle ones. We're just gonna set this back up now, take the old ones out, realign it with the new ones, and that's quite simple to do. Just pop them out, put the roll straight through the roll holder, pop it in, line it up, and squeeze these two little clamps here to make sure it's the right size. Close it down, it will auto align. Then we're just going to have a look and find the one that I want, which I chose this one. We can edit this and change it to exactly how we want. And we're just going to print it off and see how it comes out. Lovely. There are two years warranty with this machine and they do come in different colours, pink and white. So that is a mega easy printer to set up and use. And if you do have an issue with it, like I mentioned, they do offer a two year warranty. So I've seen a few people in the community have a few issues here and there. Just reach out to them. But now I'm going to pick a few orders that I've had over the weekend from the garage because my other printer is currently still at the unit. So while this has arrived over the weekend, I might as well use that. The other one I've got is a Zebra GK420D, which is an absolute beast in the game. However, it doesn't have the Wi-Fi Bluetooth capability that Munbin does. And I think that's going to be a big game changer for me, especially when it comes to Emma. Emma does a lot of vintage parcels. She's constantly sending me WhatsApp messages with labels to print. Now she's got this, she can just airdrop it straight to it. She can print them herself. That is going to be a big thing, especially if I'm on the go and I need a label quickly. I can just air print it. So much easier. So I still love my Zebra, but Munbin does have that Wi-Fi capability, which I do, do love. I don't think I'm going to make a full switch over, but I am going to incorporate this Munbin into my office setup. I think it's going to be a massive, massive improvement. Well, let's get into some sales. 
So the first one is a bust because I know I took it out of the box and left it on the side at the unit. So that one needs to go out when I get back. But that is a little set of those Fisher Price records for £9.99. I'm finding this whole system very strange again. Right, box H is some cars. I think it's going to be these. Yes, it is. So we sold a bunch of Corgi cars. Just a nice little set of die cast ones there for £10. Free postage. Oh, we've had the first one of those sell. Box P. Where's box P? They haven't even got a box P. Have I? Oh, wait. Look at this. Look. I was just wondering where my box... So them records, they're in box Q. However, I was looking in box Q. But box Q is actually an O with a scratch on it. There's box Q. Although I still don't know where box P is, though. All right, let's see if those records are in here. Boom, there they are. There is something that I took out and left on the side. Right, box P, where is box P? I don't even have a box P anymore. Ah, uh, I know where they are. It's these. Box P slash shelf. I know where they are. So it's up here, box P slash shelf. So obviously, they're on the shelf. You lot are just going to have to bear with me for a bit while I figure out what I'm doing in here anymore. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. These sold for £10.56. Just the one, which is weird because they're normally selling sets of two. Box I. Do I have a box I? Yes, I do. So for £12 free postage is this vintage soda stream bottle, I think. You put them little balloon canisters on there. Yeah, it's a really, really nice one in good condition. A few little scratches and stuff, which I'm hoping were already on there, not just from storage. Now nah, that was fine. £12 free postage. Box H. Back there again. This is actually a really cool little item. It's the Millennium Falcon, I do believe, you Star Wars nerds. But you hang it onto the wall just there. So it looks like it's sort of crashed into the wall or coming out the wall. And it has lights on. If I can turn them on, I will for you. There we go, look. Cool little piece. That sold cheap as well. I had that for ages and just wasn't selling. Sold that for £12 free postage. And just here I've sold that, I think you say T-Foc or something. It's like a build your own house, mini bricks and cement and all those types of things. Really quite a cool little piece. Had offers of £10, £15, £2, £1, blah, blah, blah. Somebody finally paid the asking price of £25. I think it's totally worth that. So I'm going to get those packed up and get the moon bin back in action. My tripod still isn't here, by the way, so uh, you don't get all the fancy angles just yet like you used to. What shall I start with? I think for the records, we're going to get a little bit of scrap card, fold it over and just pop it straight into a bubble mailer. Nice and easy. I'm going to have to spend another day at the unit tomorrow. I've got some stuff that I need to bring back still. Still not finished there yet. Just having a weekend off from it. Do you know what I mean? And you know what? I'm going to stick one of those little thank you labels straight onto the packet because why not? Lovely. <laughs> I love this printer. I promise you I'm not even being biased. So far, I love it. I think it's wicked. Right, print postage label. We'll do that. Fine. Can't show you this screen because obviously it's just it's private information. Right, I'll pay for the label. Ah, I haven't even got the 6x4 set up. I've still got the freaking things in there. Let me get those back in. I'm sort of like struggling for space at the minute, but my printer's not going to live there. My printer's going to live up there. I've already got a space for it. Right. Open label, print, choose printer, one bin, six by four, print. Can't show you, but that's came out perfectly. Higher quality than the Zebra, actually. That's quite annoying. First one done. Yeah, I'm not even taking the piss. That print quality is actually a hell of a lot better than the Zebra. I'm not sure if it's because it's a new machine or not. But, I mean, they both do the same thing. They're both... You can still scan the barcode. It doesn't matter, does it? We'll do one more. Only because this is nice and easy. This will just go straight into there as well. I mean, it's in a hard case. We'll bubble mail that. Hopefully it fits in the bubble mailer. Does it fit? No, we won't do that one then. What can we do? The cars? 
Now, bearing in mind, I'm low on supplies. All my boxes, everything's there. My void fills there. But yeah, all my void fills there as well. Damn it. Well, the records was nice and easy. And the Munbin printed the eBay label easy as pie. So today, of course, was a sponsored video. Munbin did send me the label printer for me to do a review. And I did mention to them that I was going to be very honest. And if it was crap, I'd be honest about it as well. And I've honestly got nothing to moan about. I really wish I had. It's small, it's compact, it's easy. There is one thing I'd like to see, and that is them incorporate labels into the machine. But that is not a problem at all. I quite like the idea of that, actually. I can actually see when my labels are running low. But yeah, shout out to Munbin for the printer. Discount codes are all going to be in the description down below and in the pinned comment. Let me know if you pick one up. But hopefully in the next five days or so, this garage will be in perfect streamlined order and I'll know exactly where I am, what I'm doing, where my stuff is, camera angles, all this kind of thing. So I appreciate you sticking by. Thank you so much for watching as always. I do appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind liking the video on the way out and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. It's honestly a sick printer.